Hey, <coughs> Violent Community, I'm back to do uh, uh, Give Me 10 Female Folk. I thought of like, I thought of doing this, and, and uh, I remember Big Star's uh, sort of a themed uh, videos, highly entertaining. So I pulled out some, what I think is, <laughs> is folk at least, maybe some isn't, but yeah. Okay, um, because I bought this record, and I'm not going to talk about it now, but uh, because I haven't cleaned it and played it, but it's British St. John's Songs for a Gentleman. Fantastic record. I think that Christopher um, uh, recommended this to me, and when I listened to it, it just blew my way. So that's going to be nice to to sink my teeth in. Um, coming up in a recent Vinyl Finds video uh, later on. So it got me thinking, like, if I was going to pull 10-ish records from my collection, which would I take? So let's start. Uh, all of these are recommended. Some, as I said, maybe not 100% folk, but yeah, the first one, <coughs> and this is highly recommended, The so uh, Sound of Feeling by the band Spleen two uh, girls singing uh, and listen to the very psychedelic Hurdy Gurdy Man which they start off the the, um, the record with <clears throat> but they also do, do a fantastic um, no sign of sound of feeling is the band's name sorry <laughs> a fantastic uh, version of the uh, sound of silence the uh, Simon Rock Garfunkel uh, this is two girls and, and a guy and I think that this the, this guy was like puppeteering the entire sort of thing, but uh, uh, as a sort of a f female folk driven record, I think this qualifies. I hope so at least. Some, maybe something to watch that. Okay, I think this is from 1971 on <coughs> uh, Straight Records, the Sapa, Sapa label. This is Judy Henske and Jerry Geister and uh, the the stuff with that Judy sings on is the strongest points of the of the record in my opinion. And if you're only going to sample one of the songs, sample um, uh, Rapture. It's one of my favorite songs of all time. It's a fantastic song, Rapture with Judy Henske and Jerry Easter. Um, yeah, is it folk? I don't know. Maybe more psych folk. Next one is Heaven and Earth, uh, which I think is also a really, really nice record that's highly recommended. Uh, they do a song called Jenny, which is great, but their take on Tomorrow is a Long Time, the, the Dylan song, is also fantastic. So, uh, highly recommended, check it out if you haven't heard Heaven and Hell. Is this folk? I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm gonna show it, but I'm, I'm at the fence myself. And this is the fa my favorite record. That's why I pulled this. This is my favorite record from her because the first one, Chelsea Girl, is maybe more folk than this. This is maybe more avant garde. I don't know. Uh, but this is definitely my favorite. Uh, Desert Shore. Uh, Desert, sh sh Desert Shore. Desert Shore. Uh, reprise or reprise records. I don't know how to say that. Frank Sinatra records. Um, with John Cale as producer, and he also plays on this. This is mood in a fucking box. It's so good. It's like if when you start playing this, time just stops. I love Nico. She hasn't done one single bad album. Died too young. <clears throat> uh, talking about death, Judy Sills, Heart Food. Um, this is a reissue on music on vinyl. Sadly, looking for a for a first press of this would be awesome. But when a buddy of mine, a jazz uh, musician, uh, when he played the Kiss the first time, when I heard that the first time, my mind was just like blown away. So how can I have lived, how can I live like 30 years by then? Uh, how can I have lived 30 years without uh, hearing that song? 
uh, it was a mystery to me. Uh, one of my favorite songs ever recorded. It's so damn good. Uh, you can't do this without uh, talking about Karen Dalton, can you? It's her, her second, uh, second and last record. Uh, this was the one that was going to to break her into ra radio. <laughs> uh, I, uh, nothing to to uh, laugh about here. Her her um, life wasn't uh, like Judy Sill wasn't uh, the, the best, I guess. But something on your mind when a man loves a woman in my own dream. Uh, same old man, one I love, or leaving for the country. It's just, it's a perfect, perfect record of a female folk artist. Um, I mean, talk about true. This is true music. There's nothing plastic, in my opinion, about this. It's just honest and true music. Um, Sandy Denny. This is probably my my favorite uh, favorite record by by her. Uh, it's awesome. I was thinking about one of the songs that you should sample, but everyone knows Sand Denny. This is a, a masterpiece of a of a record on Island Records. <coughs> so so yeah, I guess yeah, folk. Let's leave it at that. Folk rock maybe. I don't know. Fairport. Mixing some stuff up there. The next one is also uh, this is a reissue. Unfortunately, uh, would love to have an original of this. Maybe one day. I don't know. Uh, Lena Parhax, um, Parallelograms. Parallelograms. Um, takes a while to get into, but this is also one of those record that is. It's just so honest. It's so true. So uh, far from overproduced, money-grabbing sort of uh, records that we are used to sometimes. Uh, this also a favorite in the sort of female folk that and everyone should listen to this. It costs nothing to buy. Her records are really easy to get, and she has a distinct voice. It's not for everyone. I know. I know people. I know people that doesn't enjoy Laura and Iro, but uh, they are stupid. Uh, obviously. Uh, oh, I'm just kidding. New York Tenenberry. I bought this in New York when I was there from a, a guy. I think he was homeless. He was sitting on the street. He had a crate of records that he was selling. Uh, so I uh, I picked some some records up um, from him. It's kind of cool. It's beat to shit, but it's it's a memory. Sweden, yes, we have a top sort of not not top ten. This is not top ten, uh, but uh, one of the one of the best female folk records that I know of is definitely tuted. Um, Vitras Visor, Vitras um, tunes, songs on Silence. So uh, the prog label Silence. I think half of the of the songs here are in Swedish and and half of the songs are in uh, English. But age is only a number. I think it's called. Is definitely a song that you should uh, check out. Sometimes I think H is a treasure hitter. Is the is the song is the song's name. Uh, so yeah, check that out if you want to explore uh, Tivoli a little bit more. She had a, a she went to I think with that band went to New York and was signing with one of the big major labels. They wanted her to do a, a sort of English career or American career. Uh, or whatever, but she got cold feet in the last minute, went home and uh, kept releasing progressive folk records in Swedish instead. So kudos to that. Uh, fairly new record, I don't know, maybe a year or two ago I got this. This is uh, Shirley Collins and the Albion Country uh, Band, No Roses, with the fabulous, fabulous song uh, Oh, well, a poor murder woman. No, uh, murder of Maria Martin. <sighs> Fantastic on Pegasus. Check it out. This is this is a, a folk record tone. And the last one is it's actually a Danish record. I've shown this also, but this is also one that everyone everyone should own a copy of uh, this because it's reissued on um, 
Fredriksberg Records, I think. Something like that. Uh, sounds great. 1981, this was released. Uh, Susanne Menzel, Wood. <sighs> Goodbyes and Beginnings. Good Goodbyes and Beginnings. Uh, Farewell Nancy. It's it's a, a folk record, definitely. And it doesn't sound like 1981. It sounds like maybe 68 or 71. Um, in my, opi uh, my opinion. Some songs you can hear that sort of 80s production, but yeah, mostly it's a, a folk record all the way through. So that's my give me 10. I think it was more than 10. But give me 10 uh, uh, records, just something to, to uh, to show you guys. If you have any questions, write them below and I hope you enjoyed. So until the next time, bye!